This is what brings to the old adage of a lot of strength or strength coaches, sprint coaches saying, you know, weights don't make you faster. Even footy coaches say, like, weights don't make you faster, they make you slower. And they're not entirely wrong. If you just did calf raises, it's not going to suddenly make you quicker because concentric and eccentric contractions aren't the ideal way to improve elasticity. If your muscles are very underdeveloped and don't have good general capacity, doing eccentric, uh, eccentric concentric movements can increase their tolerance to eccentric load. But if we wanna to start to then get a little bit pointier and a little bit more transferable to training and athleticism, we would then focus on more eccentric work. And if you've seen in socials and everything like that, eccentric work has become quite big now for hamstring strains, things like Nordics, even in calf positions, two up, one down, starting to become far more popular because start, people are starting to see the benefits of that eccentric tolerance. Because when I land, in this position, the calf isn't contracting, it's actually fighting eccentric contraction. So if we can get more tolerable of eccentric load, our calves can hold for longer, hopefully just long enough for our Achilles to create that recoil. Then the next one, again on social media may have seen isometrics. They've become very popular. Run specific isometrics. Alex Natera has really popularized these. But in track and field, they've been around for a long time. Sometimes I would say because people knew what they were doing, others they might have just stumbled across the benefits. But if you can create a huge tolerance to isometric load, and we're gonna use the calf again, we can start to build its ability to act as an anchor. You've got old mate in the corner on the calf raise, improving concentric function and some eccentric function, potentially no isometric function, versus someone who's just doing isos, Yes, they're probably not growing their calf, but they're starting to create a far greater tolerance for this stretch shortening cycle.